After today, there's no more excuse to not losing weight. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to stick to a diet, get results, and enjoy yourself. Check this out. Welcome to The Power of Quiet, helping you master your mind, master your body, and master your life. And if you're new to the channel, this is your first time here, consider subscribing because you're going to quickly discover that what we do here is different than everywhere else. We don't just have a nice talk and give a bunch of positive sound bites. We show you practical steps to getting real world results in your life. Now, talking about results, let's talk about losing weight. Now, losing weight is something that I personally have struggled with a lot. Ever since I hit my mid-30s, and I went from being able to eat a whole pizza, a plate of tacos, and a whole half gallon of ice cream, and not gain a pound, to in the course of about three months, I gained over 50 pounds which for those of you on the metric system is like about 23 kilos in just three months. And it was a shock to me. And it kind of snuck up on me because I didn't just get it in my belly or someplace obvious. It was just evenly distributed. And one day I just looked at myself and realized I'm huge. And for the next four years, I struggled with it. I was working out like a fiend. I was cycling like 200 miles a week. I was dieting and I was going through an experience like, you know, if you've ever dieted or tried to lose weight, I'm sure you know this experience. It's like being on a roller coaster. Sure, you lose a little bit, but then you get it back and you lose a little bit, you get it back. And sometimes you make a big push, like you lose like maybe 10 pounds or so, but then the holidays come or you go on vacation and you indulge, you gain all of that back. And that's like, oh, I got to do all that work again. And so it's like this never ending struggle. Now, I went through this for four years, but at the same time, I was applying the methods and techniques that we do here on this channel, which quiet the mind letting go of the negativity, the negative feelings, all that negative talk in the mind, and making it disappear permanently. And as it continues to just disappear, the mind gets quieter and quieter. And what emerges is something that becomes more positive and more positive and more positive. And so positive that it has a direct effect on the world. And this is what I was doing over the four years, clearing out my negativity. And the positivity that was my true beingness, in that I discovered that the body was just a reflection of the picture I had in my head. And if I could just change the picture, which I did, I just saw myself as having a healthy and fit body. And when I had that picture, it felt natural real and right. And in the course of about a month and a half, I lost that 50 pounds and went right back to my ideal body weight. Now, some of us have heard stories like this, and we've listened to masters like Lester Levinson or Eckhart Tolle, or I've heard other people like, you know, with the law of attraction talking about, you know, how the mind works, the power of positive thinking, the power of your beingness. And we want to do it like that. And we want to do it perfectly. And some of us, even here, practicing the method that we do here, we want to get these top results. And that's the best way to do it, is to clear out all your negativity. But it's not the only way to do it. And some of us get hung up and we let that get in our way. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by this. Lester Levinson pointed this out. He said it best. He said, in relation to your health and your body, he said, if you want a healthy body, the best way to do it is spiritually, through your beingness, just getting rid of the negativity. And that beingness is so powerful, the body changes immediately. 
Now, if you can't do it spiritually, then do it mentally by controlling your feelings, controlling your emotions, controlling your habits, that which reflects your behaviors. And mentally, you can change and get the results. Now, if that doesn't work, then do it physically. Do it the old fashioned way. Go see a doctor, go take a pill, go get some surgery if needed. And here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with any of these approaches when it comes to getting the results. And see, some of us get so hung up, we gotta do it perfectly. We gotta do it the way Lester did it. We gotta do it in the most effortless way. But here's what happens. When we don't clear out all that negativity, it's in the way, and some of this negativity is subconscious. We don't know it's there. So we try that approach from the top, and when we don't get results, what happens? We get discouraged. We get frustrated. We beat ourselves up. Or we even say, you know what? This whole method doesn't work. And these people, Lester, Eckhart, Maybe they're not right. Maybe there's something else. So we, so we give up, basically. But here's the point. There's many ways that we can get the result. And of course, we're always looking to do it from the top. But barring that, what's wrong with doing it another way? Especially if it's easier to get the result. And that's what I'm going to show you here, right now in this video. All right. so. What's a perfectly reasonable and traditional way to lose weight? Dieting, right? Now, what if you could diet and make it easy and have that work for you, have it work easily and quickly? Would you be willing to do that? Now, what's the big problem with dieting? Now, we have a problem with it because we feel like we're giving something up. We're going to spend a period of time suffering because we're going to not be able to indulge in the things that we like. We're going to have to go around hungry. So we have to walk around with these feelings in our body that are uncomfortable. And so when we think about dieting, it often is like a picture of torture in our mind. And we don't like that. And that's why we have a problem with it. But that is something that we can apply these techniques to, turn that around and actually make it easy. Now, would that be worth it to you to get results and have it easy doing it that way? So follow along here. So when you think about dieting, notice if you have some feelings that come up. Because here, we're taking the mental approach. We're going to start mastering our feelings and mastering our behaviors here. All right? Now, feelings. And when we have feelings that come from dieting, like feelings that we're missing out, or feelings, physical feelings of hunger, how do we usually react to these feelings? We don't like these feelings, right? We resist them. They're uncomfortable, maybe they're painful. We fight with them. And by fighting with our feelings, does that help us in any way? Or does that just make the whole situation worse? Now, I'm going to show you how to actually dissolve the feelings and have them work for you rather than against you. But it starts with you. Now, see if you've been resisting and fighting with your feelings about dieting. Whether it's a feeling like you're having to give up something, you know, your favorite food, tacos or ice cream. And you're looking at, yeah, for three months or six months, I have to give all that up. And that's just going to be no fun. It's going to be miserable. Really? What's the big deal? So, Three months of following a regimen and sticking with it. You know, maybe you don't eat as much or maybe you take a food out of your diet for a while. 
so you can get your body into a different place, wouldn't it be worth it? Right? And the only problem is you're resisting it, right? Now look at what's happening when you're resisting the feelings of what you have to experience when you diet. Doesn't that resistance make it worse? Now, think about dieting. And get in touch with your resistance with that. Like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Now, if you measure that resistance now on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the most resistant, 0 being the least resistant, just measure yourself. See where you're at. Measure your resistance level right in here. Now, wherever that resistance is, can you see that when that resistance comes up, that feeling of resistance, it's like this clutching, hard, pushy feeling. That, that feeling of resistance you also don't like. And when this resistance that you feel here comes up, can you see you want to say no to it? Now, by saying no to it, does that make the resistance go away? No, it makes it stay, right? So saying no doesn't work. I think we can agree on that. And if saying no doesn't work, would you be willing to do something different in order to dissolve that resistance? All right, so let's do something different here. Radically different. Instead of saying no to it, can you say yes to that resistance? Just look at it, that feeling, right? That uh, dieting, uh, uh, right? That resistance here, and whatever number that is, if it's a five, if it's a seven, if it's a 10, just say yes to that resistance. That's it, yes, Y-E-S. And could you say yes to that resistance a little bit more? And could you say yes to it even more? And could you say yes to it even more? It's just a feeling. That's all. It's just a feeling. It's not good. It's not bad. A feeling has never killed you. It's never stabbed you. never hurt you in any way. It's just a feeling. Could you say yes to it? And could you say yes to it a little bit more? And could you say yes to it a little bit more? And could you say yes to it even more? And even more. And could you say yes to that resistance even more? And even more. And even more. And could you say yes to it even more? And even more. And even more. Now measure yourself again. See if you moved. See if you moved down that scale of 0 to 10. Did you move? Notice that. Now you're moving in the right direction. And notice if you feel a little bit lighter. You know, just like a lighter feeling. That's also showing you that you're moving in the right direction. So now that you're moving in the right direction, and you have some energy flowing. Like you're letting that energy go. See, that was energy coming up, the resistance. But you're pushing it down, holding on to it when you're saying no to it. But when you say yes, now it's leaving. And that's why you feel lighter. So now, let go pushing down on the rest of that resistance. See, since it's already flowing through, you got some momentum going here. Allow the rest of that resistance to come up. Now just open up and let it leave. Let go of holding that resistance down, let it come up, and let it leave now. Let it leave some more. It's just a feeling. Just let it leave. And even more. 
and even more. And even more. And even more. And even more. And notice how you feel now. See if you feel even lighter, more at ease, more smooth. You notice that? Now, here's how you can apply this practically while you're dieting. See, dieting is simple. You just eat less, you eat healthier foods, and you exercise, all that. But what comes up? See, what gets us derailed from dieting? We get hunger, right? Or we feel like stressed out, and then we go and we fix that by eating some food. Now the hunger's just a feeling. Now if you just did the same thing with the hunger, and if you're on like a regimen, a dieting regimen, so you eat like, you know, two or three meals a day that are reasonable, whatever, and now it's in the evening, let's just say it's in the evening, and it's getting close to bedtime. See, this is where a lot of times we're really getting into trouble. It's later on, we start to get a little bit hungry, and then we just eat right, right before we go to bed. This is like one little simple scenario. And that just kind of derails all of our good work from earlier in the day. And it's all triggered just by a feeling. Now, this is something we can easily master and have success, actually make the dieting work. So just imagine feeling hungry all of a sudden, like, oh, okay, I gotta eat. That's a feeling. Or could you let go of resisting that feeling? Like, let go of pushing away, pushing at it. Let go of resisting the hunger. In other words, let go of saying no to that hunger. And instead, say yes to it. Say yes to the hunger some more. And say yes to it some more. And say yes to it some more. And some more. And even more. And say yes to it even more. And even more. And even more. And even more. And how do you feel now? And if you were actually hungry, like you could really feel it, notice what happened to the hunger. See if the hunger went away or if it's less now. Now how awesome is that? See right there, that's how you can master your feelings. You don't have to let your feelings push you around. Now you're in charge of your feelings. It's not like you're gonna wither away and go hungry. We're, and we're not talking about you know, being unhealthy. See, a lot of times the hunger is just like a conditioned reaction because most of the time we're eating more than we should anyway. Even when we eat like five or six meals in the evening, we still get hungry. Even though we've eaten like three days worth of food, it still happens. So it's just a feeling and by mastering our feelings, we can be in charge and act responsibly and not just by impulse and reaction to our feelings. So this is something that's very practical and anyone can do. You can do this whether you've been practicing this, what we're doing here for 10 years, or if this is your first time stopping by and experiencing this. Any of us can do this and have success with dieting and losing weight. Now I'm gonna show you something else here. Another thing that's going on in the mind that stops you from dieting and makes it a miserable experience. And it's in your thinking. It's about your happiness. 
See, the idea, like if you imagine being on a diet for the next three months, six months, or a year, what comes to mind? That's not going to be a very fun year. I'm going to miss out on all that chocolate ice cream. I'm going to miss out on indulging in this and that. Those things that make me happy. And for the next year, I'm going to go through a period of unhappiness, hoping for a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. But see, that happiness that we're expecting at the end of the tunnel, that's like far out, way out there. Whereas, you know, I'm unhappy in the moment because I'm dieting. I'm going through this miserable process. And that's why it's so easy to jump off of it because it just takes a moment to say, well, my happiness can be had just by having a bowl of ice cream. I want to be happy, so I'm just going to do that. And so we go in that direction. But it's just in our thinking that determines what we determine to be happy or unhappy. And I'm going to show you how to turn that around. See, just imagine yourself being on a diet. And notice if you have a feeling like that's no fun, I'm giving up something, I'm not happy. And let's just keep it simple. In this picture, you're kind of disapproving of yourself or you're disapproving of the process that you're going through. And disapproving of that process, guess what? That's your choice. That's your attitude. Now, by disapproving of yourself and what you have to do, how does that help you? It doesn't help you to disapprove of yourself, right? And who's doing it? You are. That's your attitude. And if you're doing it and it's not helping you, now all you have to do is make a decision because it's up to you. And the decision is I'm going to be positive and love myself or I'm going to be negative and beat myself up. Now what do you decide? I'm assuming your choice is to go for love. I mean, what's wrong with being loving? After all, positive doesn't hurt anything, right? So right now, can you just make a simple decision? Yes or no? Could you let go a disapproving of yourself? And could you let go disapproving of yourself a little bit more? And could you let go disapproving of yourself a little bit more? And could you let go disapproving of yourself a little bit more? And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And even more. And even more. Now notice how you feel. Do you feel a little bit lighter? If so, you're moving in the right direction. Now, could you give yourself a little bit of approval? Just because. Because positive doesn't hurt anything. Could you give yourself some more approval? And could you give yourself some more? And some more. And even more. And could you give yourself even more approval? And even more. And how do you feel now? Notice a difference? Now this is proving it's your attitude. See, the whole thing that makes dieting so miserable is your attitude about it. I don't like it. And my feeling about myself is I don't like myself in that process. So our mental picture, like over that period that we are looking to diet, we have an unhappy picture about ourselves. Or we feel like, you know, when we're in that situation, we're unhappy. But 
what you're experiencing here is your happiness is up to you. And if you take charge of this decision to take your happiness in your hands, what does it matter what you're doing? If you are loving yourself, you feel good about yourself, which is your choice, does it make a difference whether you're eating ice cream or whether you're eating lettuce? If you're loving yourself, it makes no difference. You're happy and it's up to you. You see? That's it. That puts the power in your hands. Now take a look to see if you're disapproving of dieting, like disapproving of those bland and uninspiring foods. Now, how does that help you to disapprove of them? So could you let go now of disapproving of dieting? Could you let go of disapproving of it some more? and some more, and even 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 more. And how do you feel now? Now, could you give dieting some approval? Just love it. Just because you can. And could you give dieting some more approval? And some more. And even more. And even more. And even more. Now, when you think about dieting, does it feel easy to do? Just as easy as not dieting. See, what's the difference, right? It's a piece of cake, figuratively, right? Nice and easy. So this shows you there's three ways to achieving the goal here. You could do it spiritually by the power of your beingness, when you get the negativity out of the way, you'll discover that everything is your picture. And by holding in mind exactly what you want, the results are immediate. Now, barring that, if you can't do it spiritually, then do it mentally by addressing the negativity that's here. And it is here. So you welcome it up, you let it go. And by letting it go, you can master your feelings and master your habits. And the results that you get by doing it this way are very, very rapid. Now, barring that, if that doesn't work, then go ahead and do it the old fashioned way. Take a pill, take vitamins, go see a doctor, do whatever's needed. Here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with that. If you do it that way, fine. Why suffer? Why struggle and beat yourself up? Just take care of it, achieve your goal, and continue moving forward. The point is, this is a process. It's a process of letting go of the negativity one step at a time until you reach that top state. And it's from that top state that you can discover the power of your own beingness. And you'll see, it really is simple to master your body. Now, if you want to prove this to yourself, I've got the perfect course for you that's coming up. It's a new six week course called The Perfect Body. It's about applying all of these skills here into health, fitness, and weight loss. And we're going to use all of these approaches. We're going to take these steps and the practical approach to achieving your goals with having a healthy and fit and perfect body and moving up and realizing the spiritual you, realizing your beingness that is beyond the body. And that is the ultimate truth. And you'll see it for yourself in the six week course. So I'll put a link to it here. I'll also put a link to it in the description below. Check it out, it's starting soon. And in the meantime, practice this approach. This may be an approach that you weren't looking at, 
but I promise if you try it, you'll see that it actually works. All right, so try it, and I'll see you on the next video.